sexual abuse survivor, uh, Stuart Anthony, and Harvey Proctor, former Conservative MP, who was falsely accused and never charged with sexual assault. Um, good evening, both of you. Um, could, for the audience's sake, could you just quickly outline what happened to you in what your yeah, experience was? Of course, yeah. Um, so I was abused um, as a child um, between the ages of 10 and 14. Didn't come forward um, straight away. Left it many, many years, 20-odd 20, 20 years before I came forward. Uh, then uh, the, my abuser abused a four-year-old child. Uh, and then I came forward. He was then sentenced to four years for that crime. I came forward. Um, because I felt so much guilt that if I had, you know, if I'd come forward 20 years ago, that wouldn't have happened to him. Um, so that's what happened. Um, he was charged um, when I came forward. Uh, no, actually, um, the CPS didn't authorise a charge at first. They said there wasn't enough evidence. Then two other people came forward um, and it went to court seven years later. So I came forward in 2016. It finally got to court last year. He was sentenced this May to 18 years for 21 counts of sexual abuse, uh, sexual assault and rape. Well done, you, for, for coming forward and waiving you. your rights to anonymity. Harvey, what are your feelings on this? Uh, well, I think my case is pretty well known. I was accused of sexual rape and abuse and torture and murder of children. The police, before they started their investigation, held a press conference at Scotland Yard, it's the Metropolitan Police, to say that my accuser was credible and true. He was not credible and true. Um, a long story, but I think most people know it, but my accuser is now serving 18 years in prison for perverting the course of justice. However through the police, backed up by certain politicians, including Tom Watson, who, alas, I see, is trying to get a, a peerage again, having been turned down two years ago. He's trying to get a peerage again. Certain sectors of the media, because of that, I lost my job, I lost my home, I lost my repute, I received death threats, to the extent that I had to go and live for a period of time abroad. So I strongly believe that there should be anonymity before charge and the law with regard to suspects and victims should be on an even keel. For this purpose, commenting on what your previous speaker said, uh, the lawyer, uh, I am a victim of these matters. I have the utmost respect and support and sympathy for people who have, like Stuart, been abused. Genuine people, but not the liars.